Hello and welcome to The Light. Afghanistan has long been ravaged by wars. Women in the country have always been deprived of their basic rights. But these female Afghans have braved many difficulties to pursue the love of cycling and break the taboo which restricts their life. Lives. Here's more. Aged between 18 and 25, the 10 female members of the Afghan national cycling team are preparing themselves for a race that will begin in the Persian New Year. It will be on 21st of March when competitors have to cycle 430 kilometers from the capital Kabul to the northern city of Mazar Sharif. 19-year-old Masuma learned to cycle while she was in Iran with her family that had escaped from decades of wars in Afghanistan. After the fall of the Taliban regime in 2001, Masuma's family returned to their country, yet her parents encouraged her to continue cycling. One day cycling has to turn into a tradition. So the Afghanistan female national cycling team wants to introduce cycling as a normal and common tradition to all other Afghan girls. The Afghan women's cycling team was first formed in 1986 when the country was in the throes of a war with the former Soviet Union. Later, the Taliban overran the country. During their reign, the militants deprived women of their rights. After the Taliban's downfall, Afghanistan Cycling Federation's director, Abdul Sadiq Sadiqi, started to put together a women's team in 2006. Despite all security problems, Sadiqi believes that his team members are messengers of peace. There are pigeons of peace. They are cycling every day in Afghanistan to prove to the people that there is no problem while there is fighting going on. They are standing tall against it, cycling from village to village and from province to province in order to pass the message to the rest of the people that despite all these problems, there is a hope for peace. Although the team has been nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize by Italian lawmakers, but still the women cyclists suffer from the lack of training facilities and from harassment. They believe the government's role in supporting them is the most important factor lost.